guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, the Trails of. Now then. Oh my God, Trails into Reverie. Um, don't know why I screwed that up so bad. So again, this series is going to be a little different than uh, normal. Yeah, the jump. So we're probably going in there. Yeah, we're going in there. Um, because I'm going to be following a walkthrough to get all of our missables and everything. So it's going to be a little different. We're going to going to be a little less commentary, easy for me. I'm going to say. We want one of these, and we want a book. Oh, yeah. What do we have for Bellsco? So, we get 13. So, from here, we want to buy that and buy that. So, that's all we want from there. Sweet. I'm going in. Come on, baby. Right. So, the reason we want to buy the Pecky and stuff is there's a lot of items in these games where if you buy a certain amount of all these different things, um,. You can trade them in later for better items or equipment. So, another good reason to follow a guide sometimes. So, I like to get everything I can out of these uh, Trails games. I really do. If I remember correctly, this is... Yeah, it's where our old acquaintance opened his law firm before being arrested. After that, this place was vacant for a while. The Crossbow Times apparently occupied the space until just recently. I had no idea. The former office of Grizzly Grimm, a.k.a. the lawyer Ian Grimwood... Oh, what a fucking man. All the things considered, he was still a big help to us two years ago. But after that, Crossbow soon became Erebonian territory and we fell out of touch. All the more reason why you should go visit him soon. Says who? Who are you? Pete. Who's Pete? I don't know Pete right off. If I recall, Grimwood took Pete in and, and acted as his guardian, right? Yeah, Pete's been working part-time at the news agency lately. Long time no see, members of the SSS. What brings you here today? We just happened to be passing by, so we decided to drop in. So, the news agency's all moved over? Yep, I was just doing the final checks before vacating the premises, actually. You know, as soon as we get rid of the editor desks, things get real lonely around here. You're kind of right. This is a big, empty space now. It reminds you of how things were after the Independence incident. Oh. I can imagine. It, I'm sure it felt like your world was turned upside down when we arrested Mr. Grimwood. Oh no, please don't worry, I didn't mean it like that. Right after everything transpired, I also resented him. But as time went on, I found myself able to face him, and I even started visiting him in prison. All because you guys managed to step in and save him from himself. See, that's probably from the Crossbell game. That's one th little detail I'm not sure about. So I can look into that, though. You're a tough kid, Pete. So you've been checking in on him over the past these past two years? Yeah, in between working for the news agency. I missed a few visits because he had penal labor, but we kept in touch. Between you and me, he was terribly worried when you all were working underground against the Empire. Huh? I haven't been able to visit him since last year's occupation. Once today's signing ceremony is over, I plan on stopping by. I'm certain <coughs> that he's truly happy about Crossbow's independence this time. I'd be glad if he was. Could you give him my regards and tell him we'll be dropping it eventually too? But of course! Except shit's gonna go down at this ceremony, man. We all know shit's gonna go down at this ceremony. Okay, so visit the officer scene. Important for the players of the beaten trails to Azure. So, important. Because, well, obviously he must have done some shit in the other game that I'm not completely aware of. Is it just me, or does the city feel extra happy today? It does! It's not just you. The positivity in the air is almost overwhelming. Well, can't blame everyone. We've been waiting for this day for a long time. I'm just gonna wait for the speeches to stop. I don't like to skip them over. So we're gonna, um, these two areas we're entering now are not important. We just apparently need to enter them to add them to the quick travel menu. Which, you know, is nice. But, in this apartment, we can go downstairs for a little scene, which we're gonna do, because we may as well get everything we can. At least this scene will... Down here is the first floor, man, that brings back memories. Oh, that's right. You grew up in these apartments, didn't you? And then Nuez family lived right next door to you and your brother. We could always head downstairs to say hello if you want. No, that's okay. We have plenty on our plates before the ceremony. I can visit them once things have settled down, and I'm off duty. You sit... Okay, but I thought it said I could. Hold on. Sorry. 
Perfect. Inside the lighting, go down a floor and type. Yeah, it says I can, but apparently not. Yeah, well. Must be able to. Oh, no, you can. I was screwing it up. There they are, Yuna's family. We're at a little scene here. My innocent Lloyd, doing the rounds before the signing ceremony. I almost said singing. Keep up the good work. You know how it is. We were in the neighborhood, so I thought we should drop by and say hi. I think this series is making me commentary nervous. Just where I love the game so much, I think I'm actually nervous commentating on it. I can't say enough about how much Yuna helped when we saw her last. See, I even fucked up the sentence, but same difference. We're really grateful. Yeah, she played a huge part in the mission. She really knows her way around a soul dot. <laughs> I'm happy to hear so much praise for her, but I do still worry about her as a father. I'm so proud of how much she's grown while studying in Erebonia. She really has. We're proud of her too. So are you not working at Missile, uh, Michelum today, Matthew? Actually, I'll be in charge of a little event we're running through the Harbor District later. There's still some time before I need to go on site. So I came home to enjoy a cup of coffee. Well, that sounds nice. I guess you'll need it for now. Well, for how busy you'll be later as well. Sorry if we interrupted your time alone. On that note, I think we should be going. Have a wonderful day, you two. Thank you, you as well. Stay safe out there. What a lovely little scene. I wonder if we get a little scene with the children. Hey, it's the Triple S! Hi, everyone! Ooh, you two look as energetic as ever. Yep, today's the signing ceremony. It's gonna be so hype! Uh, we're gonna celebrate a whole lot and then eat a bunch of tasty food. Then tonight, we can go... We get to go see Archon Seal! I can't wait to rub it in Yuna's face the next time she comes home. I'm sure she's going to be really jealous. Wow. How dare you two younger siblings go see the dance performance that she loves so much and rub it in her face. I would do it too. So, we now go to... Sorry for... This is going to be a lot. Hold on. Uh, I am just... I'm not even pausing for this when I should. Where am I looking for? Screen time at... We're going okay. to set it for ten goddamn minutes. So that it doesn't keep shutting off on me. So we got the two little things. We got the abandoned office. So now we want the bakery here. Just outside of it, maybe? And Randy! Huh. What a weird trio you guys make. Hey! We're a good Hi, Randy. Trio. Hi, Murray. Doing well? That's Murray. That's how you say Murray. Ooh, who said the Muriel? I'd say they are. Are we interrupting your date? First Lieutenant, Muriel. Well, Murray. Date! <laughs> That's not what we're doing. I was asking for his input on today's security measures as a valued former member of the Guardian Force. I'm sure. <laughs> Come on, be honest. Just say you're happy you get to spend time with me now that I've wrapped up my work in the Empire. No! Stop making things up! I don't think uh, he will. Randy's the man. Woo, is it just me or is it getting a little steamy over here? Knock it off, Wazzy. She can't have both of you messing with her. It's like he never left. Oh, I'm sure you'll be sorely missed at the branch campus, Randy. Oh, the operation was your way of coming back home, right? Yeah. To be honest, there's a part of me that would have liked to keep on a little longer as an instructor, but that's life, Randy. All that means is you found another place to hold dear. That's a great thing. It wasn't without its struggles, but I gained so much by being there. Walking in, I never thought it'd become as important to me as it is. Something about seeing just how much kids can grow in a year because of you is, well, it's nice to feel like I did right by them. You absolutely did. This almost makes me wish I could have seen you in action. I bet, oh, I'll bet you made an amazing instructor. Well, he did always have a knack for showing others the ropes at the Guardian Force. He might look like he doesn't care, but he does a stellar job of caring for others and supporting them in all kinds of subtle ways, which he did do a shit ton of in Cold Steel 4 and 3. Whoo, man. If he wasn't there for me when I was under the sorry excuses for a commander, I don't know what I... Wait. Too late. Secret's out now, I'm afraid. Oh, wow! I didn't know you thought about me that much. Oh, you got caught. That's because I don't. I was providing an objective perspective. An objective perspective, yep. That's all. Is it just me, or has she gotten worse at hiding her feelings? It could be because he was away for so long. It's not just her, though. Anyway, let's all keep up the good work and on the job today, so the signing ceremony will be a success. 
do the force proud today, second lieutenant. Hey, yes, ma'am. Also, I will say, I am still playing with the audio a bit um, on this game, like for how loud some stuff is. We're still working on it bit by bit. So talk to Randy Mayor at the bakery entrance, and then talk to them again. Oh, -ho. So apparently we do got to talk to them twice. The first one gave us their first pages, which is nice. Oh yeah, I almost forgot something in all the hustle and bustle. Green and Uni wanted me to pass along a couple of messages. Congratulations on Crossbell's re-independence. Once things have calmed down a bit, I'd love to be able to visit. Can't wait. I wish I could be there for the signing ceremony, but good luck with security. Next time I'm home, I'll be sure to drop by the SSS HQ with some souvenirs. That's nice of them. Now we've got something to look forward to. I'm sure there's been no shortage of work to be done for everyone at Thor's. That's an understatement. They've been flying out all over the Empire to help get it back on its feet. Uni went back ahead of me once the operation was over. Something came up with one of her missions not long after, so she wanted to prioritize that. Yuna was something of a triple S hopeful, wasn't she? Yeah, she debated coming back to Crossmill for good after the operation. Ultimately, though, she wants to stay at Thor's till she graduates. She's always been the type to see things through, so I'm not surprised. I was worried when she first went to the Empire, but it all worked out in the end. It really did, actually. And she was a big help, even though I don't think I had her on my party even a couple times through the games, unless, well, she was mandatory at the time. You two are pretty good friends, weren't you? Makes sense, when they're so alike. They're both so... Ugh. <clears throat> You're both so earnest and sincere that I could never get bored of riling you up. Oh, hush. But yeah, I was the one teaching her how to use her gun breakers when she was at the police academy. We got to talking then, and it turned out we had a lot in common. Love for cute animals, biking, and even the triple S. It makes me happy knowing she's found her own path in life. Just a quick pause. Keep getting messages, so sorry about that. Same here. Hopefully she and Rain will be able to come by soon. I think we'll, we're, you're going to see them a little quicker than uh, you expect. With how hard they work, they'll get done in no time. That means we can't afford to slack on sprucing up Crossbill. Though, gotta make it nice and pretty for them. I would say you probably should make it nice and pretty for the crew that saved the goddamn world. No, so get three independence rules when you speak to Oscar and Bennett inside. Oh, hi everyone! Well, it isn't Lloyd and his pals. Good timing! We just finished baking some limited edition bread to silver crossbows independence. Here, try some! Woo! Independence roll! Wow, this smells great! Thanks, Oscar. Are they decorated with cookie shapes like Crossbell's chest? The crest, not chest, oops. They're so cute! Don't mind if we do! Hey, Oscar, don't you think you've been pushing yourself a lot lately? I'm happy the bread is selling well, but you've been baking nonstop for days. You could end up re-aggravating your injuries at this pace. Yes, a lighten up, Bennett. You worry too much. Does your injury... Does the injury you suffered during the war still bother you, Oscar? I thought you made a full recovery. Don't worry, man. My wounds healed up and the doctor cleared me to go come back to work. I think Ben is looking out for me. Don't try to play this off. When you were first injured, they said that you might never bake again. Just because you healed enough to be discharged and come back to work, it doesn't mean you can be careless. I'm limiting you to only three hours of needing a day. And you can own... Oh, and you can only man the counter two hours at a time. Wow, she must really care about him. She's a little pushy on it, though, because he's not going to listen, I don't think. Don't you just adore when young love continues to blossom over the years? That's not it at all. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Ain't that the goddamn truth? So after this, we can leave and go to Central Square for a lot more of this stuff. Because... This is the biggest parts of the game. The Endless. I think this is Central Street, yeah. It's little Central Square, Plaza, whatever. Is the same huge place with tons of places to visit. Of course. I would never doubt it. These games are full of so much world All the building. banners around town have Crossbell's emblem again. Woo! Yeah. Is it a very bone? It's it feel like we're back to normal. Even I'm compelled to shed a tear seeing this. Then shed a tear, my dude. So we want to go to the cafe. Harold and family. What's up, Harold? Good to see you, Lloyd. My, if it isn't Noel and Wazzy. We're going out to eat a whole bunch because today's a super happy day. And Papa gets to do his work again. Really? That's great news. What's your job? <laughs> I don't remember what your job is. I knew at one point, 
but I don't remember now. Yes, though it's a little embarrassing to make such a big deal of it. Starting my business again has been a challenge, but it all came together thanks to the renewed international interest in Crossbow. Don't be so modest. Today's a day to celebrate. But more importantly... Oh my god, your hat scared the shit out of me, bro. But more importantly, we must thank Adios that you came home to us safely. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, I have a question. You guys are friends with Ren, or Renee. I can't remember which one it is. It really, right? We got a, a we, we got to have lunch with her the other day. She told us all about her family. It was so much fun. You don't say. I bet it was. I think they might possibly be part of the family, but I don't know. She said next time we can all have lunch with her family. I can't wait. That's strange. I know Sal and Joshua are in town for work, but I haven't seen Ren around. I hope we can catch up with her soon. Yes, they're quite the crew, actually. And then we need to purchase the Hamburg Steak. Oh, yeah. We're probably getting lower on funds. So now the Times Department Store. I don't know if we're going to have the cash for this. Oh, my God. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. There it is. There's a lot to buy in here, folks. So, we first floor, we want... Legion's Foods. Uh, how much do I... I got nine... Okay, so hot chili pecky. Okay, and then purchase a gate. That's still on the first floor. At the South Walk. Wark? I almost, oh, I didn't mean to talk to you. Okay. So I already bought the Crossbell Times, which we could have bought here, I guess. But we want to buy chapters one and two of the Moonless Morn, which we might... We can read these books uh, in this playthrough if you guys want. I've never really read the books too much in previous plays, but if we want to, I for sure can. So we got those, and you'll want to buy a Mishi Tail as soon as possible. It's rather pricey, but make sure you buy as soon as you can before we forget about it. It's also to exchange for accessory later. So, wait, do you have the Mishi Tail? You don't have the Mishi Tail. Oh, you do have the Mishi Tail. Oh, and it is expensive. What do I have that I can sell right off? Increases maximum HP. Oh, that's for... Yeah, we don't want to sell that stuff. Uh, trust me. Um, I could sell a bunch of shit. I only have two of a couple things, though. Um, bollocks. Um, restores all BP. Brave soul. Oh, that's a good item. We don't want to get rid of that. Let's sell some of them. Let's sell some of them. We're gonna re I'm gonna regret this, bro. Uh, that's gonna be pointless to sell. Oh! Oh, God. Now I, I didn't realize how much of that I had. Alright, so we got the Mishy Tail. Um... You can always leave and come back, you know, do some fighting for the cash. So then we want the Machinder goggles from Baker's Accessories. Which I think is you? No. No. There you are. There's Baker. So we want the goggles. And actually, we can equip them if we want. This is for another accessory. It's all for another accessory. Why not put it on? Let's put on the why not buy it put it on? We can always take it off them later when we want the new accessory. Trying to optimize all your characters in this game is always just a pain. So now off to the Genton Orbal store where we can buy a bunch of... Uh, oh god, what are they called? The orbs for arts. Quartz, you can buy quartz and shit here. Which we're likely not buying quartz and shit here, if I'm gonna be honest with you. So first... I guess we'll do our shopping. We want the watch. I probably should have equipped it, but if we didn't... This is for an accessory, so now speak to Wendy for some scenes. Afterwards, we'll be able to do some shit. Okay. I'll read after. Oh, there you are. The signing ceremony is just around the corner. You three must have a spring in your step as you patrol the city today, huh? I mean, we're probably feeling pretty good. I won't lie. I guess you could say that. You sound like you're high in spirit yourself, Wendy. It looks like you have a lot of customers coming today. That's great. That's because we're putting on a big sale to celebrate the occasion. Plus, 
This is the time of year when everyone is looking for a fresh start. Suffice to say, our sales today are through the roof. Not that money is everything, of course. It's nice to see so many happy, smiling customers, too. That's great. Sounds like business is really booming. I take it that means nothing strange or unusual has happened around here. Maybe wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Not that I'm aware of. Everything has been same old, same old. Guess that means you guys can't exactly take it easy and let your guards down just because the rest of us are celebrating. I get it. In that case, why not give your ornaments a tune-up while you're here? Not like you'll have time later, right? You're right. Good point. We might as well while we're here. That's a spirit. Now let's see how I can help you today. You can have synthesized new quartz as well as strengthen your existing quartz and weapons at the workshop. So basically, if we have the necessary sep and, sh and uh, stuff like that, we can make our quartz stronger, or we can even make better versions. See where it says like defense one, defense two. We can make stronger versions if we have all the necessary tools. If it's green, we have enough speth. If it's red, we don't. And the weapons is normally U materials, which normally throughout this game you collect a bunch of fucking U materials, so we'll be fine on that. Oh, and while I have you all here, there's something I should tell you about the Arcus 2. The Ryan for Group originally put out a new version. Not again. Really? Anything special about it? A lot from what I can tell. You guys should try upgrading your slots for now. You'll be able to equip stronger quartz than you've used before once you get a slot up to level 3. Give me a sec. I know I've got some test samples laying around here somewhere. Here they are. Use the sept to upgrade a slot and insert that quartz. It's on the house. Cool. Analyze you are even. You really do spoil us. You know that? Thanks, Wendy. We'll give it a whirl. You get to upgrade slots at the workshop. Upgrading slots allows us to use the stronger ones, and now we have level three. So that's an, that's nice. Don't mention it. That's what friends are for. Anyway, I'll let y'all get back to it. Today's busy for us both, so here's a smooth, to a smooth Independence Day, am I alright? If you need me to tinker with your ornaments again, you know where to find me. Repairs, upgrades, you name it. I'll handle it. We'll let you know if we need it, and thanks again, Wendy. What he said, would it be? I'd be fine with not having to touch my ornament much today. <sighs> Additionally, you can select exchange to trade the speth masses you obtain throughout the game for Mira, which I do a lot. You can trade elemental speth at the workshop, but it can also be used to create quartz and open slots, so do so wisely. And sept masses are the only good for trading for Mira. Oh, yeah, are only good for trading for Mira, so make sure to do so whenever you're short on Mira. Because we get short on Mira a lot. Okay. So, she also mentioned there, because two unlock their slot. Woohoo! Um, I thought two was a little raised. She also hands you that stuff, so later on. We'll have a little dungeon, and you need to call another party member, Ellie Green Teal. If you're planning on calling okay. Ellie Green Teal, make sure to unlock one of their slots so you can equip the analyze you are. We just got for the bump of stats. So do we we don't do it right now, we can do it later. Good. And so then when talking to when you have upgrade your weapons to plus one, you should have you you material from Orcus Talent. Why not? No money either. Just just all your material. There we go. Look at us go. That's probably all we're gonna do for now. We will do the rest later. So now we wanna go to the armory. Well, it says we want to, but then also says Um, there's not much going on here. We can just buy an upgrade? for our armor and such, but it's probably going to be a little expensive. Oh, I should have been reading that. So I can't deny it, though we haven't forgotten all the people who helped us get to this point. You included... Garand. Thanks for everything. But he said, the Resistance owes you a lot for supplying us with weapons. And you did that on the side, while keeping this place open in broad daylight. Color me impressed. The man's got to eat. Now that I like doing... Uh, not that I like doing business with complete amateurs or anyone else I haven't taken a liking to. Anyway, can you see I'm reading here? Try not to stop too often, got it? We'll try. Cranky old bastard. So this, uh, we could have bought an upgrade for him. Um, puts his ETS down by like, a lot, but it doesn't put his attack up by much, so we might ignore that for now. So, I need four of these. 
So I'll put one on you now. And probably four of these. Man, we are running low on the muns again. This game is expensive to play, man. So, we want you to... Oh, uh, you already have it. It's you. And boom. And boom. And boom. And why does it have a weird buffer sometimes when I'm transitioning over? Boom. Well, I mean, we... we I only got accessories on you, so this is kind of not fair. I'll give you for now. You... No. Oh my god. Maybe I should... Well, you have really bad health. Really bad health. But I don't know if I'm taking you into my next fight, so I'll give you the tail. And I'll give you the watch. That'll work for now. We could buy more accessories, but we'll gain so much going through this game, so... Now we want to go to the Triple S building, which is down here. Alright. Oh, wow! It's looking real spiffy now. Well, I guess we're allowed to operate again, so... The Triple S HQ, baby. Warms my heart seeing this place again. When did the sign get put back up, though? After we respond, uh, we possessed the building from the Imperial Army, everyone in the city pulled together to help us return it back to the way it was before. I had no idea. You're all so loved. Hard to believe they used to call you bargain bin bracers. All that means to me is we worked hard enough to win them over, and you guys were a big part of making that happen. Nothing wrong with the bargain bin, though. Just saying. Looking up at this building makes it all feel real. We're really home. Can't blame you with how nice and cozy it is. It's like our second home. Exactly. And since we're here, why don't we drop in and say hello? The chief should be in, so yeah, why not? What do we have for time on this fucking episode? Jeepers. We'll do probably this triple S section and we'll continue in the next episode what we gotta do. Um, before we probably shit hits the fan. It's just, there's so much to get through. So much, man. So that's where they're, but it said we can go to each person's individual room. Strolling through here makes me feel like I'm back on the job with you. It feels like it was just yesterday, huh? I bet the rooms haven't even changed. Oh, we're gonna see. Both your rooms are still the way you left them. Why not check them out and see? Boom! Oh, this is supposed to be my room. I wonder. Oh, rest. We're allowed to check out everyone's rooms, yeah. Tunnel, but we'll do a quick rest, we'll do a quick rest. I don't know if there's an event here at all, uh, but we're just allowed to check out the rooms. Um, again, I know a lot about the Cross Spell games, so I'm just curious to see the rooms. Plus, these rooms are available in the fourth game, so got to see them a little bit then as well. I wonder whose room this could have been. Hmm. I think Randy comes to mind. And boom! This, I honestly probably couldn't tell you right off. I really should go back and play the cosplay games, but... Well, not much going on. It's cool, just to see it all. We have more rooms upstairs. Oh, pretty nice one. Probably Ellie's, if I'm not mistaken. Well, all the Mishy stuff. I think that was Tio. Good lord, look at all the shit! And BAM! This is Key Adrium, I know that, because of the big penguin. Ugh. Just insane how far these games did come and how much the world was built. It's hard to fathom it. These games are going for fucking ever. I don't think I need to do anything with that. Yeah, so speak with the chief and Sonia. So your three model is straight up beautiful, it says. Alright, just talking. Talk. Sergey Lou or Lau or Lloyd. Hitting the pavement with Noel and Wazi, huh? You're right. How goes the patrol? Yeah, so far so good, Chief. And hello, Commander. I didn't realize you'd be here when we stopped by. 
It is a good 3D model. This guy's well, praising it. Surprise! Oh, no. I had some business to attend to here. You're assisting the SSS then? Security detail has mostly been handled, so I don't suppose that's a problem. <laughs> Is it just me, though, or are you more gung-ho with their business than with the CGFs? Oh. Is that how it seems? I've never really thought about it before. Well, if you'd like, I could arrange to have you temporarily transferred to the Triple S again. You really mean it? Wait, hold on! Sure, the Triple S is special to me, but I'm fully committed to the CGF. You know that, Commander. Of course I do. I was only teasing. Try not to bully the youngest, all the youngsters too much. I'd say you're the naughty one here, Chief. Having a secret little rendezvous with the commander while the kids are away? Hmm? I mean, I know you two divorced years ago, but some flames are too hard to extinguish, aren't they? Knock it off, Wazzy. We should be prying into their private lives. Yeah, it's none of our business, though I've been dying to know. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm here for business, not pleasure. We were just discussing some of the details surrounding the signing ceremony security. You've got enough on your plate. You didn't have to come all the way here, you know. Is that consideration I hear, or are you simply bitter I interrupted your quiet time? Would you rather be smoking the day away? Having faith in your subordinates is all well and good, but every great leader knows there are times when you must lead by example. Now listen here, lady, I... Don't call me lady. Call me man. You're not getting any younger, Sergei. Isn't it about time you finally quit that smoking habit of yours? It will only... I get it already! Damn! Stop busting my balls, Sonya! That was awesome. Sorry, Chief, but she has got you whipped. She really does, doesn't she? That's kind of brutal, but oh well. Is what she is. By the way, has our runaway member shown up at all? Nope, afraid not. I had hoped he would by now. I'd have called you and Tio back here in an instant. That's a shame. It's been too long. You could at least make it back for the signing ceremony. Who are you talking about? Wait. Is this about... Ziet? Yeah. He showed up to help during the operation last month, but disappeared again as soon as it ended. Tio and Kie really miss him. I wish we had any idea where he went. Well, he's still a holy beast at the end of the day. It's only natural he wouldn't want to get his paws dirty in mankind's business. Maybe seeing to, well, maybe seeing to it that Crossbell was liberated was his final mission. Not that it's any of my business what he does. I don't think a lady... Oh, I don't think the A lady upstairs has any rules regarding whether he has to be a stranger. I would hope not. Ziad is still a registered police dog. He belongs with the SSS. I'm sure we'll see him again someday. Yeah, me too. At least we hope. Well, if he does show his mug around here, I'll give you a call. Don't let it bother you too much, though. There's still plenty of work to do around the ceremony and all. Give the circumstances the police were put in charge of security for today. The CGF will have units stationed throughout the city to provide support, but you would be wise to keep your guards up. Roger that. We will. There's nothing our two departments can't do when we work together. I believe you're right. So that should give us that stuff. So once you're done with the above, head south into Station Street. I just want to make sure I did get everything I needed there. Character notes for them. Why did I not say I would get other people's character notes? Oh, you guys. Okay. Know. This better be good. Well, I mean, I had to do that anyway, so it's not like I was going to miss it. Alright then, so that should be good for today's episode as a whole here, folks. So please, comment, subscribe, tell me what you thought of this episode, what you think of the game so far. I know it's a lot of side stuff right now, but we'll get into the good stuff when we get into the good stuff. Hope to see y'all in the next episode. Goodbye, for now.